language is constantly changing. Some words that were once widely used, are now used less often. Some even almost forgotten. In this video, we will define these and provide examples of how they are used. Remonstrances. When someone just won't let you do your thing and you end up having a spirited debate. Or argument about it. She rolled her eyes at the students' impending remonstrances about how unfair the test was. Accosted. When someone decides to invade your personal bubble, and you're not happy about it. The celebrity was accosted by paparazzi outside of the restaurant. The salesman accosted me as soon as I walked into the store, trying to sell me something I didn't want. Fame. To feign is to act like you're doing something, but not really doing it. My little brother likes to feign being a superhero, by putting on a cape and running around. Key. A key is like a sidewalk for boats. The tourists gathered on the key to watch the boats come in and out of the harbor. Placid. Placid is like a sleeping kitten, cozy and calm. The yoga instructor's voice was soothing. It put the entire class in a placid state of relaxation. Acquit. Acquittal is a big win for defendants, as it means the prosecution failed to prove guilt beyond doubt. It's like a gold medal for the defendant's legal team, in the Justice Olympics. The detective collected evidence to prove the suspect's innocence and acquit them. Astonished. Astonished is like having your mind blown by something incredible. The magician's incredible trick left the audience completely astonished. Stupefy. To stupefy is like pressing the pause button on someone's brain. The fairground ride was intense. It left me feeling completely stupefied for a few moments after it was over. Vexation. Vexation is like having an itch that you can't scratch. The drivers stuck in the unending traffic on the highway experienced great vexation. Vigorous. Vigorous is like going for a run on a sunny day with your favorite music blasting in your ears. Everyone vigorously moved and grooved with enthusiasm at the energetic dance party. Unsheath. To unsheath is like unboxing a surprise present, but instead of a gift, it's a weapon. The superhero unsheathed her secret weapon and prepared to fight off the alien invasion. Brigantine. A brigantine is a fancy pirate ship that can sail the seas with speed and style. The crew of the brigantine dressed up in colorful costumes and threw a party on deck to celebrate their success. Foresail. The foresail is the sail that helps a ship move forward with style and panache. The pirate ship looked even more intimidating with its black flags and large, billowing foresail leading the way. Akin. Akin is like a pair of socks that have been separated in the laundry. They may not be identical, but they still have a strong connection and belong together. My cooking style is akin to my mother's. We both love to experiment with flavors and spices. Wharves. Wharves are like parking garages for boats, a place for them to hang out while their owners run errands. Otters were spotted playing near the wharves. Earnest. Being earnest is like giving someone a sincere compliment. It shows that you genuinely appreciate and care about them. The boy extended his hand in earnest to apologize for his mistake. Thanks for watching.